Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Forge Audio Designs VST plugin Beat MIDI. Uh, this is the first VST from uh, Forge Audio Designs and just want to give you a quick overview of it. Uh, basically it was developed as part of my uh, degree at Bournemouth University and basically what we have here is a beat detection plugin uh, that works using a filter bank and a Schmidt trigger and basically will allow you to detect your drums or any percussion strikes and output them as MIDI data. What you can see on the screen at the moment is the interface of beat to MIDI. Quite simply we have a high threshold here which is used to define how loud the volume must be before a detection is made and a low threshold and the low threshold is used to define a reset point so once the volume has fallen below this set level then a new detection can be made. Um, we have here the output type. Dynamic I'll come on to in just a second, but basically you can choose whether you output to a kick, a snare or a hi-hat note as defined by the general MIDI standard. Uh, we also have the ratio section at the bottom here. Now I carried out some research to figure out what would be the best ratio settings uh, for the high and low thresholds and the results came out that 19, 39, 79 and 119 to 1 were the kind of best starting points. So what you can do for instance is select 39 to 1, uh, adjust your high threshold and the low threshold will move uh, along with this dependent on the ratio and this is just there to really give you a, a starting point because then obviously you can switch off the ratio and, and tune it in a bit more. Um, so the detection is what we'll be mainly looking at today, but just to give you a quick uh, idea of the uh, template and dynamic detection section, um, basically what you can do here is you can set the functionality of beat to MIDI to template creation, uh, play in a drum, say a kick drum or a snare drum. Then if you're choosing your output type as dynamic, based upon the template that has been created, uh, the plugin will then detect and output the correct note whether it's a kick drum or a snare drum. But today we're just going to be looking at the uh, output when we've defined specifically to a kick, snare or a hi-hat. And to demonstrate this uh, we have uh, three audio tracks here of a multi-track project of a kick, snare and hi-hat. Now I'll just play that acoustically first. Okay, so a fairly uh, simplistic drum beat there. Um, so what you do is you insert beat to MIDI on each of the tracks. We can see here I've gone through and I've already defined the kick drum. Uh, so we have the threshold set correctly, chosen the output type as kick, and the functionality is set to detection. So what I'm going to do is just enable beat to MIDI on each of these tracks now. And if we listen back, you'll then hear the output via Beat to MIDI, which uh, shows you the audio that has been filtered, which the plugin is using to detect the transients. So it sounds a little different, and in future updates, we will be adding the option to either hear the original sound or the filtered sound. Um, but like I say, this is the very first version of Beat to MIDI at the moment. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I've got the uh, plugin running on each audio track. I've created MIDI tracks for each of those. And I've chosen the input to the MIDI track as the output from the respective instance of the plugin. So I'm just going to record and enable each MIDI track. Take it back to the start. And we're going to capture some MIDI data. Okay, so as you can see, we now have some MIDI data. I'll just expand out the kick drum to start with. And as you can see, we've detected kick, 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 kick. All of the kick drums there. You also notice that there are velocity changes. Uh, this is basically because Beat to MIDI uses a look ahead buffer, so it can average the amplitude of the signal um, and then create the fluctuations in the velocity to keep the humanized uh, element. Of course, this does introduce a small delay um, and you may notice this in some of your results. Uh, however, uh, it's not that big a delay and uh, 
the point of most beat detection plugins, apart from replacing the sound with different drum sounds, is to correct timing errors. So we're not always that worried if there are slight timing inconsistencies. But as you can see on the snare drum specifically, there are very accurate detections. So what we can do now is, for instance, I could just quantize these drum notes to make them slightly more in time. We'll leave the snares as they are and the hi-hats down here as well. And what we can do now is just quickly mute all of the audio tracks. And I have an instance of BFD running uh, from F Expansion, version one here. And for each of the kick, uh, snare and hi-hat tracks, I have already set it to be outputting MIDI to BFD. So now if we listen back again, and there you have it, you've replaced your drum sounds. Um, so obviously uh, Beat MIDI is still in development, um, but this will be released uh, mid-July as a public beta, um, which will be free to download. Um, and it will be available on the website www.forgeaudiodesigns.com um, and we will be releasing subsequent updates implementing some cool new features and functionality and of course improving uh, the algorithms where we can um, so if you've got any questions just email me at dan at forgeaudiodesigns.com and I'll answer your questions and uh, yeah it'd be great to have some feedback on the plugin and uh, see what people think of it and what kind of successes you have with it. Um, so that's all for now, and I'll keep you posted. Thank you very much.